Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we compared PMP files and JPEG files. In this video tutorial, I am going to compare BMP, JPEG as well as PNG file formats. So let's get started. BMP stands for Bitmap Pictures, JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group, PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. BMP supports millions of colors, JPEG also supports millions of colors, PNG also supports millions of colors. Next point to understand is BMP does not support transparency. JPEG does not support transparency, whereas PNG supports transparency. That's one of the most important difference between PNG, JPEG and BMP that PNG supports transparency. Let's see the demonstration. I go to Photoshop. Here we have a Photoshop document created. I save it to PNG file format. Let's go to file, say save as and I save the file at desktop with the same name mark you and I select here PNG. So here I have a PNG file format selected. When I save the PNG, you can see a information box or a gamut. It says that it is not going to remember the layers. Once I click on save, say OK. Now once we save the file, of course the file is going to be created at desktop. Let me minimize these things. You can see the file got created. You can observe the difference between these three. You can observe BMPs has replaced the transparent pixels with white pixels. JPEG also replace the transparent pixels to white pixels. If you compare with the PNG, PNG has not done anything to transparent information, right? You can be able to see the background color in the transparent area, right? If I right click on it, say open with the Adobe Photoshop CS6 and you can see that the transparency is as it is, right? If you see here, we have a transparency available in the PSD file. And if you go to PNG file format, nothing happened to transparent pixels. They are as it is. Whereas in BMP and JPEG file formats, you can see the transparent pixels are replaced by the white pixels. That means PNG file remembers the transparency. That's about the speciality of PNG file format. Let's proceed further. BMP does not remember layers and JPEG also does not remember layers. PNG also does not remember layers. That means all these three file formats are going to collapse all layers to a single layer when you save the file. That means they flatten the image. If you go here and see the PNG file, you can see all layers are collapsed to a single layer with the name layer 0. Whereas in JPEG, all layers are collapsed to a single layer with the name background. In a BMP, all layers are collapsed to a single layer background. Whereas in PSD, all layers with their effects are as it is. So PNG file formats also not going to remember or support layers. Let's proceed further. Next thing is BMP does not support animation. JPEG also does not support animation. PNG also does not support animation. The next difference is BMP files does not allow compression. Whereas JPEG format uses lossy file compression. Whereas PNG uses lossless file compression. That means the quality of the image is not going to be degraded with respect to PNG file formats. Whereas the quality of the image degrades with respect to JPEG file format because they use lossy file formats. Now, one of the most important difference between the JPEG and PNG is PNG files takes larger file size when gradients present. If there are no gradients present, then PNG file format is quite better than JPEG. JPEG file format takes small load time, whereas PNG file format takes average load time. Let's see the file sizes. Let's compare the file sizes. I minimize all these three. If I right click on BMP file format and say properties, you can see it is taking 531 KB. I right click on the JPEG and see the properties. It takes 26 KB. If I right click on PNG file and say properties, it is taking just 6 KB friends. You can see that very, very smaller file size. But if you have gradients involved, then the PNG file format takes more size than JPEG. That's a difference friends. Let's proceed further and understand more. BMP file formats are PC friendly. JPEG and PNG are web friendly. When there is 
no importance given to the transparency you don't uh, give importance to storage space when you think uh, bandwidth is not most important then you can save your file to bmp when you feel that transparency is not important when you feel the quality is not important and when you feel storage space is most important and the bandwidth is most important save your file to jpeg whereas when you feel transparency is most important and quality is most important and when you feel the file storage space is not that much matters and bandwidth is matters at that time you save your file to png file formats that's the most important thing to understand if you are creating something for pc save the file to bmp when you think the image is a final distribution then you consider saving it to jpeg so jpeg is good for final distribution of photographs web images also containing gradient images whereas PNG file format is best for photographs without gradients. PNG file format is really good for creating game assets and all because it remembers the transparency and it is good for web images also. Hope you guys have understood what is the difference between BMP, JPG and PNG. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.